All right, so this is another weird one. Um, this is day two of us being in self social distancing uh, mode here in Durham. And last week it actually got a little worse. We got to a point where our mayor has uh, uh, asked everybody to um, stay home, which means that non-essential businesses are now closed. Uh, you can go to grocery stores and you can go to the bank, uh, but most places are closed. Uh, most public areas are closed. The playground behind me is closed. They are pushing um, self-distancing, which basically means you got to stay away from people. You know, about six feet from everybody else. That is the best way to avoid this thing from spreading. Um, there are going to be a couple people here. They do promote getting out, exercising, going to the park if you can, going for a run, going for a skate, but you got to stay away from people. Looking at the numbers and the way that it's been spreading in New York, it is scary how bad it is and it's scary how bad it's going to become. So everything that you can to, um, to help prevent the spread of this, do what you can, stay home if you can. Uh, don't forget to get out, walk your dog, go for a skate, get some big wheels. There are skate shops out there still in business. They would love nothing more than to get your money and exchange it for some big wheels. Um, go and skate. This is a great time to just put on the headphones and pause life for a little bit. And skating is an amazing way to do that. This is the last weekend of Blading Community Challenge. And I misspoke last week when I said that it was last weekend, it's actually this weekend. Days are kind of blurring together right now. I know that it's Saturday right now, but that's, just because I checked my calendar. Um, as for Blading Community, finish up this month it is the Soul Grinder of the Unity. Next month, we are aware that a lot of people are in quarantine and stuck wherever they are. We think that it doesn't matter. We think there's a way that we can have fun and still participate in the Blading Community without going outside, without having to go to a skate park or something like that. So stay tuned, we'll be announcing the next trick in a couple of weeks. Um, if you're looking for a way to connect to the blading community, if you're stuck at home and you're bored or if you're a little depressed or whatever, totally understandable. Go to backtoblading.com slash slack. Um, there are plenty of people on the slack who would love nothing more than to talk with you. Um, slack is a chat uh, platform that we use for talking about skating. We also use it for work. But um, there are skaters there who would love to talk to you, answer your tech questions, or just talk about life, talk about whatever. Um, we would love to see you there and uh, I'm promoting this a lot lately just because I know that a lot of people are bored at home. I know a lot of people are probably pretty lonely um, and this is a good way to virtually connect with people. We had uh, with the Slack group, we had a group uh, viewing of the Hoax 2 uh, the other day which was amazing being able to watch a video together and chat while we're all watching the video at the same time. We'd love to see you there backtoblading.com slash slack. Um, come on down, make sure you say hi. All right, so this week I am at a park in Durham. Um, this is right next to downtown. You can see downtown in the distance. There's a really great curved ledge here that I've only skated a couple of times. I am still on my power slide zoom merged into USD Sways. I love these skates. And now that I have a little bit of uh, experience on them, I can honestly say that these are a really good skate for most people. Um, there's not much not to like. Uh, the shell is good, the sole plate is amazing, the forward lean isn't too severe, it doesn't feel like I'm leaning forward too much. You can get yourself a boot only version for like 130 bucks or something like that. It's crazy how cheap they are. Um, they just hit the skate shops, so if you're uh, looking for a pair you can find them at your local skate shop or online. The brand new uh, I think they're called the USD Sway 57. They come with a Kaiser Fluid 5 frame, which is the new frame with the tighter groove that I'm not sure how I feel about. 57 millimeter wheels, anti rocker. Um, you can also get it boot only. It is a great looking boot. It's like, a, again, it's a lot of white and black. It's mostly black, but I recommend these skates. I think that they're great for most people. If you're looking to get back into blading, these are very forgiving as far as sizing goes. You can save a lot of money, get a really good uh, quality shell, upgrade your liner. I'm sure that the stock liners aren't great. They're probably not bad, but they're probably not great. And then you can upgrade to get some frames that you like specif uh, specifically for however you like to ride. 
Anyway, um, here at the Durham Ledge, gonna do some grinds and uh, <sighs> breathe. Oh, this ledge is great. Oh, it's so much fun. A um, little bit rounded, bare, I mean, barely rounded. Saying this is round is, is pushing it. Um, the curve takes a little getting used to because you've got to jump a little differently if you were skating a, a straight ledge. Um, it was really difficult to start getting used to it. As soon as I got it though, started putting my weight over it, Start working really well. That true, uh, true Miz. I don't, I don't do that trick very often, and when I do, I don't skate very hard at it. Uh, this, I needed to skate a little bit harder to get a little further. Um, it isn't as straight as Marsh. It's it's pretty curved, but felt great. Um, felt like I locked really solid. I could probably have gone a little further if I skated a little faster, but. Next time. All right, gonna try some alley-oop tricks. There are a lot of uh, little twigs and stuff on the ground, so I'm gonna sweep those off again. Need to bring a broom next time. I think that's the smart choice. Just bring a broom with you so that you can clean your spots. That's feeling pretty good. Again, getting set is the biggest problem. Um, the run up to come from this side, from the left side, is down a hill, around a corner. It's, uh, it's funny how much you take for granted at a skate park. Um, even my crappy ledge at Durham, at least the ground is smooth <laughs> and there are no trees over top that add twigs or anything. Coming down here, um, having to really charge and then spend most of this coasting backwards is, <laughs> it's a little different. Um, but it felt good. This ledge, I mean, again, this ledge is amazing. Um, it slides great. It's got that real concrete crunch sound that I love. Um, it's, yeah, it's really great. All right, gonna try some groove tricks. Here we go. Man, you gotta go fast to get around that curve. 
I, uh, I'm skating pretty fast. There is, I mean, it's still it's this curve that you saw earlier. Um, you gotta skate fast. I don't know how long this is. It looks like 12 feet, give or take, um, maybe 10. So it's not crazy, but it's definitely slower, <laughs> slower than I'm used to the old, uh, angle iron that I'm used to. And it's definitely the curve. As soon as I get on, I feel great. If I overcommit, I end up on top. It feels amazing though, just to get out and skate, skate hard. I don't get to skate hard very much at most of my spots. I think Marsh, I get to skate a little hard, but I wouldn't dare go to Marsh right now. I think there's too many people there. All right, gonna try back Royale and gonna try back Unity. Uh, I might do back far first just to get myself warmed up with the way that this ledge feels. Um, that's a pretty good safety trick for me. And going from that side should be a little easier, but famous last words, right? All right, that felt great. This ledge feels great. It is, it is amazing, the feeling, skating a real ledge after being at a skate park for the last three years. Now, I'll say that, you know, I did skate a little bit of street over the last three years, but when skate parks are this good, like I've got three amazing skate parks within a 20 minute drive, four if I wanna drive 40 minutes. That's incredible. Um, we never had that growing up. So we skated ledges like this eight hours a day. I mean, it was, it was where we lived. Um, this feels great. I'm definitely gonna come back here. Uh, it seems like a pretty chill spot. People here are friendly. Uh, they're watching their space. Uh, I don't see any issues with skating here uh, by myself. Good form of exercise and clearly I'm dripping of sweat. It's warm out, so it is much needed exercise during this crazy time. Um, reminder, you've got one more week for Blading Community Challenge. Uh, Unity, frontside or backside, and uh, Soul Grind are uh, good. Whichever one you can get at this point, I mean, if you're stuck at home and you have a P-Rail, let us see a P-Rail. It's not about impressing your friends, it's about being part of the community. We want you there. So even if you don't have something that's going to amaze and wow us, we want you to be part of us. Um, if you need somebody to talk to, if you're bored, again, another plug backtoblading.com slash slack. We would love to have you. We'd love to chat with you. Um, pro tip, that's also where we discuss the uh, next challenge for the month. Uh, so go to uh, the community channel uh, and uh, that's, that's where you'll be able to vote on the next trick. So a little plug for that. Um, be safe, guys. Seriously, it's a, I mean, it's pretty obvious now that it's a real thing. Um, just be safe. Uh, stay away from people, wash your hands, don't touch your face. I touched my face a few times today. It's hard when it's sweating. <sighs> Try not to touch your face. Um, wash your hands, stay away from people, stay home if you can, uh, but don't stop skating. Get yourself some big wheels or the biggest wheels that you can fit on your frames. Doesn't matter if you can grind or not. And uh, just go out and skate, skate in your neighborhood. This sunshine feels amazing after being cooped up for most of the week. I think everybody needs a little bit of this. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.